The flood water has also made roads look more like rivers. Some people even had to be rescued by boat. Fox 5's Briella Thomas said he has more on that and the cleanup that is still really just getting started. Uh, at about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, I knew it was going to get pretty bad. And um, eventually, I, I actually got rescued by boat at around 3.30 a.m. Michael Rosania says he's lucky to be alive two days after the remnants of Hurricane Ida destroyed his home in Cranford. But New Jersey's monumental cleanup is only just beginning. In Milburn, roads remain closed due to flooding. Small businesses completely inundated by water, tossing garbage bags full of unsalvageable belongings to the curb. For many storefronts, even freestanding flood barriers were no match for Ida's wrath. The force of the water, I think the wall blocked, but once the water crested over the wall, all three of our basements flooded. Amid the receding flood waters is a rising death toll. Governor Murphy, who toured the damage across Essex and Union counties, reporting an additional two fatalities. That brings the total number of Ida-related deaths in New Jersey to 25. I've spoken with both President Biden and FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell to request emergency funding. In fact, we've already received the first step in that. Uh, which is the emergency declaration. Murphy also announcing $10 million in grants for small businesses impacted by the storm. Thank God this, this time I had a second floor. Last time I didn't. We were able to go upstairs. Yep. As for homeowners, though, there's a long road to recovery ahead. We're going to need some help. Um, a lot of us have, have flood insurance. Some of us don't. And, uh, I mean, this is just, this is the type of stuff that you don't want to happen. But, um, unfortunately, it does. Briella Tomasetti. Fox 5 News.